buddy of mine has come by to see us, and I talked him into singing a song with us. And he said he had a little surprise for me. So I'm, I'm anxious to hear what it is. He's a great songwriter, great singer. Would you please welcome Mr. Bobby Carraway, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. How you doing, pal? How you doing? You need a guitar? Uh, could I borrow a guitar from somebody? We just happen to have here? one. Mike, am I going to sing on Letting right there. Letting right there. Let's give this legend one more big hand. The one and only the great boxcar Willie. He's really something. Isn't he? Here's a quarter. <laughs> Back in, uh, must have been in the 80s, somewhere along in there, I wrote a song about a, another great entertainer and uh, named it a good old country song. And uh, it got to this man right here and he recorded it, and he did such a great job on it. I can't do the song nothing like he did, but I'm gonna make him help me do it. Song that I wrote about the legendary, the king of country music, Mr. Roy Acuff, called a good old country song, and it goes something like this. My memory takes me back my childhood back to the early days of radio where I sit and listen to the grand old Opry and Roy Acuff singing from the soul you want to hear a little more? there's a song about the great Smoky Mountain I'll come in on the bridge and have to And the train Called the Wabash Cannonball And my biggest dream Was someday I would go there On the stage Of the greatest show Someday we'll all fly home to glory on the wing of that great speckled bird. Set your mic right out here for you, okay? I want to say what a privilege and honor it is to be standing right here tonight. We're glad to have you. With one of the greatest legends of country music. Member of the Hall of Fame in Nashville, Tennessee, because I've been down there and seen it. And no more was more deserving than the great boxcar Willie. Thank you, Bobby. Now, I wrote another song. Uh, this has not been recorded or nothing. I wrote it about the great boxcar Willie. And I know how y'all feel about him. You just this is how I feel about him. Like a toad frog. 
<laughs> I named this song The Man from Texas. It's the first time it's been performed on stage. Guys, y'all remember it? It goes like this. Start out and we'll catch up with you. Well, he come from the state of Texas, the son of a railroad man, and he grew up through the hard times, working with his hands. One day he got a letter from our Uncle Sam, when a country call he answered and became an Air Force man. But he loved his country music, so he kept on keeping on, playing that old guitar, singing them old train songs. He can make that old train whistle sound just like the cannonball. Call him Boxcar. Call him Boxcar Willie, the greatest hobo of them all. Yeah. Now record it. Okay, I'm going to. And, and make a million off of it, okay? You can use well, my name anytime you want to. Well, I appreciate that. but Especially I when you go to the bathroom, mention my name, you'll get a good seat. I see. Yeah. Bobby Carraway, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, thank you, Bobby. Any great? Here's to the man from Texas. I never thought about being from, I am from Texas. 